What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's a little bit different video. I'm not going to be fishing today. I'm just going to be um, showing you guys something new that I got for my boat. Um, I've been wanting one for a long time and I finally got one. I knew a better one. So I, uh, I just recently purchased the Laurent Lorentz Cook Reveal 9 um, triple shot. It's nice because it comes with the uh, side scan and down scanning. So yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you what's all in it and how I'm gonna install it on my boat. So y'all stay tuned. All right, so I haven't opened it yet. I just got it in the mail a day or two ago. So this is the first I'm looking into it. So we got a little welcoming letter. Of course, the um, unit itself, very nice, the 9TS, very nice, um, and then we also got, we got the um, transom, transducer hardware, wire, of course, the um, triple shot um, transducer, a little mounting bracket, which I'm probably just going to mount this to the front of my boat. I thought about maybe getting a ram mount, but I think I should be good. I might just use this one. Sorry about the weather. There's a storm coming. And we just have some, some hardware. The uh, transom mount, which is the piece I'm going to use to mount it, mount the transducer. Uh, the one I have now is mounted to the bottom of my trolling motor, so this one I'm gonna, it's too big for the trolling motor, so I'm gonna put this one on the um, on the transom on the back of the boat. And then we just got the instructions and some uh, stickers and stuff, and yeah, so that's everything in the box. Now, um, I'll take you guys over. I'm gonna show you guys how to install it. All right, we're at the boat now. Um, depending on how the weather is, I might have to stop and pick back up tomorrow, but we're gonna do what we can right now. So, um, I'm gonna be mounting it up here where this one is. Obviously, I gotta take this one off, but this is the one I had before. It's just a cheap, basic little um, fish finder. Um, so I'm gonna replace it with this or replace this one with the new one um, But as you can see I just have it all wired up and then I have it mounted down here on the trolling motor and The new one I'm going to wire it all the way down the side of the boat and mount it in the back But first I gotta take this guy off and get that out of the way. So We're gonna do that the other unit off I'm gonna get this one out and kind of look at placement and where I want this thing and make sure the um, the wire will reach all the way all right I'll move you guys a little bit closer Leave. It sits like this. So I'll probably put just put it right in here like so. But it should be something like that. That's what I'm thinking. Um. 
All right, so we're gonna take these screws. We take these screws, there's four of them. I believe these are the ones to anchor that down. So that's gonna be in there like that. It's pretty sturdy. Um, I did also get a, a sun cover for it just because it's a lot more expensive than the other one. I definitely don't want to ruin it, so. So that's that. Now I'm going to take you guys to the back and I'll show you how I'm going to hook it and mount it to the um, back of the boat. You just want to make sure if you do get one that you're going to put in the back of your boat, you want to make sure the wire is long enough to reach the front. That's what I was a little worried about at first, but it should be good. I already kind of measured it out. so. But this is what I'm going to use to put it in the in the back. So if anyone's confused for the back part, there's a little plastic piece, a little like spacer. There's a little spacer that you put in there that comes with it. And then for the bolt, it's bolt, washer, then rubber, washer. And you just slide it through the center and then same on the other side it's going to be rubber rubber washer washer and then nut all right i was having a little trouble there i got it on there so this is what it should look like you got the bolt metal washer rubber washer and then the little plastic spacer in between and then rubber washer metal washer and then the nut on the end all right like so and then just silicone the edge and the screws. They are sticking through a little bit, but that's okay. I'll probably silicone this down here again to make sure, but that should be good for there. And now I'm just going to uh, see where that piece went. Um, Oh, it's right here. Use one of these, it's like a little wire anchor, I guess. I'm just gonna drill it into the boat here to hold the wire nice and nice and tight up against it. There we go. It's siliconed, it's not too tight, I can move it if I need to, but it's in there, it's secured. It's not going anywhere. There's a little give, which is probably a good thing, so it doesn't stay too tight. Um, so yeah, and then I'll show you guys on the inside how I'm gonna wire it through the boat. This is how I'm gonna wire it to the front of the boat where the battery is. So it has these little slits here, and I can slide it up under these slits all the way into there, and then the battery's right in there. And that's, or excuse me, this is gonna come through there and then it's gonna come out over by the, um, the, where the unit is. It's gonna come out somewhere right here to connect into here. And then I'll be able to wire from here down through here into the battery. And I should be good that way. It was just kind of, kind of a pain to get it into here, but yeah. All right, guys, now I have it wired all the way through here. It's in here, and it's coming up right here so it can reach into the back. All right, guys, I just got back. I had to go to the parts store and get a few things. I'm just finishing up wiring it, and then we should be good to go. All right, so I believe everything is pretty much done. I just got to make sure the wire fits to the monitor or the unit and we should be good to go. All right, everything's plugged in. And I guess let's see if she turns on. It's the first time I've turned it on so I haven't seen anything yet. 
Uh, it should be in demo mode still, so we might be able to get a little brief demo of kind of how it works. Okay, it took a minute to find it, but here we go is your, um, the demo mode. So, you know, obvious your traditional um, sonar. And then you got your side scan, which is so you can see both sides of the boat, obviously on what's on both sides of you. Um, looks like it comes through pretty clear, so hopefully it, it's like that on the water. Um, then you got your down scan, which is a more clear view of the traditional scan. Um, so, should be pretty nice. I just definitely have to kind of break it in to figure out how to use everything. Um, and then you can customize what kind of combos, like this has traditional and charts. But, um, we'll uh, figure it out as I go. And yeah, that's it so far for it. So yeah guys, that is um, my Lorraine's Hook 9 um, unboxing and installation. If you guys have any questions or comments, you can just leave it down in the comment section below. Um, if you guys like this video and this kind of content, just leave a like and subscribe. It'll help out the channel a lot. Other than that, I appreciate you guys for watching and checking it out. I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.